Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. This is WMMA 5 Episode 3. Um, I don't remember if we checked any new fighters last time. Let's check that, that's a good idea. Um, I don't remember how to play. <laughs> uh, max fights, zero. Anybody we can pick up? Mm, okay, nobody. Great. Alright, now let's uh, fast forward. Actually, let's, uh, it's been a little bit. It's been a little bit. So for XFC 3 so far, we're going to update this. We have till uh, December. The last week of December, I'm pretty sure. Or two weeks before, whatever. Um, whatever, I don't remember. We only have four fights so far. We have Ken Shamrock versus Marco Ruiz. Seize Bazems versus Andre Vanden Otenlar, George Weinger Weindroff, Jupe Van de Ven, and Kevin Rosier versus Ruishi Yanagisawa. So far, we're going to add more fights, obviously. Um, let's, uh, to the end of the month. Obviously, obviously, and this doesn't take too long. It doesn't take too long, obviously. Obviously, but I'm still going to pause it. We got mail. We got mail. Hey, oh, we got mail. Let's see here. Okay, nothing, nothing too important. Let's see, any new people, new people. Huh, I feel like we're doing something wrong here. Hmm. Reset, employment, unemployed. Closed. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, so nobody of interest, or to me anyway. Matchmaking, let's do this. Uh, add fight, can we do some? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We're not going to do Hicks and Gracie. Uh, we're going to let him have a show off. Well, we could. We could. Hicks and Gracie versus Boss Rutten. Anybody? Anybody? This would be a decent main event. Let's do this. Oh, hold up. Sorry, it's been a while since I played this game. Not 100% uh, remembering. So, Hick Gracie will face off against the Rutan for the Open Weight Championship. Uh, Fabio Gurgle and James Matthews. Potential main event, of course. Uh, ad fight. Uh, Patrick Smith versus Eugenio Tadeo. Ad fight, yes. Marilu Bustamante versus Noburu Asahi. Add that fight. Let's see. Oleg Taktarov versus Ron Van Cleef. Actually, hold up. I don't want to. Hold on. Uh, he has eight man fights. I'd... I, w I don't want to do like a whole show full of fights because we don't have that much money. Seven. Okay, so we need to have eight fights no matter what. Okay, so Bustamante Asahi fight will still happen. Okay, and then we'll add a show. XFC4 to happen in, let's say, April. Let's see, A, XFC4. Let's, let's do that. Um, I don't wanna... Your current size is... You would need to use better options to gain bonuses... Per month. Ugh, I don't like that. Uh, 10,000. Ugh. Um... Stay in North Carolina. Hmm... Okay, say we can't go to the show to ha Oh, wait, hold up. Parker's stupid. Parker's stupid. Parker's very stupid. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Might be a bit quiet because the mic is so far away from me, from my face. Like, if I stand right here, it sounds better, I bet. So, eight fights. We gotta remember this. And so, the first fight we're adding to XFC4 Oleg Taktarov versus Ron Van Cleef. Add fight. Okay, so, first fight, not the main event, of course. And close the show, and boom, we just got, we just set it up. Bang, bang, slamma, lama, ding, dong. Okay, let's do this. Um, 
end of the month. I'll see you when it gets done. All right, let's do this. We got mail. Okay. Da -da 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 Ryushi Yanagasawa negotiate. Uh, let's just make the offer. Confirm. We don't want to lose any fighters. Obviously not. We don't want to do that. It's bad news brown right there. We don't want to lose any fighters. We want to keep as many fighters as we can. Um, but like at the same time, we don't want too many fights or fighters because we'd be paying them a lot of money. Uh, but it is what it is. We're gonna do our best. Obviously, we're gonna do our best. Not happy with the financial package. That's fine. That's fine. You're a very, um, very. You're a big man. Big man. A uh, big name, I presume. I'd hope so. Otherwise, I'd be wasting money on you. Is that good enough? Yes, that's good enough. You, yeah. Let's see. Contract renew. Hicks and Gracie, our champion. We don't want to lose Hicks and Gracie. Yes, we really don't. He's the champion. That's so bad. We don't want that. Uh, Kevin Rosier, uh, gotta get him. Uh, just fodder for the other fighters, of course. Eugenio Tadeu, uh, not fodder, not fodder, definitely not. But you know, not our best fighter, not the worst fighter. Uh, Patrick Smith, just fodder, just give them more fodder to give to the fighters. Um, uh, some uh, I don't want to say he's fodder either. I don't want to say that, not at all. And, like, I really don't know. Like, I don't know when I'm going to start doing weight classes, honestly. No idea. No idea. <laughs> Seize Bazems. So get him. Definitely, this one's not far. This is one of our top guys, in my opinion. Uh, Fabio Gurgle. I don't think he's fodder. I think he's a top guy. Hmm. Hmm. Jew Van de Van, uh, fodder, but still need him. We need fodder fighters, don't we? Katsuyomi Inagaki. I don't want to say he's fodder, but I could be wrong. It's been a while since I played this game. Long time. It's been months. Months, I say. Months. Um, just, you know, just sign these people. Ken Shamrock. Uh, he's with. He's signed with us. Boss Root. Definitely need Boss Root. God bless. Give me the boss. Jupe Van de Ven. Wait, I think he already pulled up. Marco Ruiz. Definitely not a fodder. Definitely not fodder talent. I refuse. Masakatsu Funaki. Not fodder. Does really well. Not over satisfied. That's fine. I can't wait to get, like, some of the bigger named fighters when they, like, debut and I can afford them. Like, I can't wait for that. You have no idea. It's big. It's gonna be big. Um, contract renewal. Ken Shamrock, gotta sign him up. We gotta snatch him up. He's in our co-main for the next show. Obviously. James Matthews, pick him up. Like, as soon as we make, like, millions of dollars, hell yeah, we'll do a full show. Like, with prelims and everything, but we're not doing that. We're not making enough money. Jason DeLuca, fodder. Definitely fodder. Manabu, Man, Manabu Yamada, fodder. <laughs> He's fodder. I know what I'm naming this video. Fodder. Jesus Christ! How many notifications do we have? Satoshi Hanma. I think all of our fighters were. Um, crap! I think somebody's somebody's getting to him. Takaku Fuki. Um. I think all of our fighters are up for grabs. The one surprised me. Trent Jenkins. Fodder. But still need him. Uh, Waleed Ishmael. Definitely not fodder. Our top guy, in my opinion. He does well unless you put him against, like, a big name fighter like the Gracies or Shamrock. Well, he does, like, so it's like 50-50 with other guys like Bustamante. Fighters like that. And Marco Ruiz. It's 50-50 sometimes. Noburu Asahi. My leg itches like really bad and I don't like it. Eric Paulson. Okay, delete all. 
Uh, new fighters. Alberto Sierra Leone. Is he a fighter? I think he's a fighter. Let's negotiate for this man. Let's see here. He-Man Ollie Gibson. Let's get him. Uh, David Levecki. Sign him up. Eldo Diaz Xavier. From what I know, he's a great fighter. He does good in this um, in this mod. Frank Hamaker. Let's get him up. Snatch him up. Sign all the fighters. Fred Edish, of course. Gotta get him. You just gotta get all the fighters. Jack McLaughlin. Don't know too much about him. Joe Sun. Pretty sure he's a murderer or a gangster. One of the two. A thief. I know he's in prison, I think. Johnny Rhodes. Uh, Minoki Ichihara. Orlando Waite. Ray Wizard. Is his one is his knockout move the Shining Wizard? Robert Lucaretti. Scott Baker. I think we're just getting all bullshit fighters. Scott Morris. His handlebar mustache. Sean Daughtery. Sean Doherty. Sorry. Thaddeus Luster. And that's it. Uh, let's go to matchmaking. XFC number four. Ad fight. Can we add fight Vernon White and Katsuyumi Nagaki? Add. This is going. This is seemingly going to be the main event. White and Nagaki. Art Jimmerson and Zane Frazier is going to be in the fight. Eric Paulson, Jason DeLuca, Lucha. Masakatsu Funaki and Henzo Gracie. Actually, this is going to be the main event. Funaki Gr Gracie. That's the main event. Hoist Gracie versus Takaku Fuki. I think I changed my mind. This is going to be the main event. Right there. And that's it for now. That's it. So we, can, we have two more slots open for XFC 4. And time for the big guns. Alright, XFC 3. Let's do this. And we got mail. Of course. 110! I like Tactile. Just want to sign him real quick. Just. It's fine. Oh god. My chest kind of like evaporated. Like, I'm not really fighting these companies. I'm not really going to fight the UFC. I'm not going to. I'm not. I, I don't. I can't afford to. So, XFC3, the main event, Hicks and Gracie defending the Openweight Championship against Boss Rutan. Let's do this. Okay, let's just close this, get to the fights. Of course, we're going to do our predictions. Next, we have Marilu Bustamante versus Nobru Asahi. I think Bustamante is going to win this fight. Don't. I think he's going to win. Make your predictions in 3, 2, 1. Yes, I knew it. Brilo Bustamante defeated Noboru Asahi by technical submission in round four. It was a good fight. Good fight. Clap, clap, clap. Good job, Brilo Bustamante. Round four victory for the man himself. Or next. Let's leave the fight. Brilo Bustamante name checks all of his supporters and thanks all of his fans who turned out to support him. Showing respect, Brilo Bustamante praises Asahi for his skills and toughness. You see, that's a big man. Look at that. It's a big man. That's a big man. I'm just saying. He's a big guy. Uh, moving on. Patrick Smith will face off against Eugenio, Eugenio Tadeu. I think Tadeu is going to win the fight. And I was right. Uh, Tadeu defeats Patrick Smith by unanimous decision. He go. They went the entire hour. It was a good fight, and they went the entire hour. God bless. I would be so fucking tired. After that, I don't know what man can go with you. An MMA style fight, boxing, I can understand that you can go a full hour boxing. You're not having to like get on the ground, move around. You're standing, throwing punches and dodging, and like some other stuff, maybe a kick or two. But with you at MMA, there's a lot more to do, and I would. Be, and they're going that for a straight hour. Oh my god! But he, Tadeo wins the fight. 
Eugenio Tadeu name checks all of his supporters and thanks all of the fans who turned out to support him. Showing respect, Eugenio Tadeu praises Smith for his skill and toughness. He's tough. He's a big guy. He's got the muscles. Moving on to the next match. It's a fight and a match, but okay. Uh, Fabio Gurgle will take on James Matthews. I think Fabio Gurgle will win. And I was correct. Fabio Gurgle defeats James Matthews, Matthews by an arm bar submission in 59 seconds of the second round. Good job. I give claps to that. Fabio Gurgle gives a name check to everyone at Ruiz Vale, Tudo, all of his various sponsors, and all of his friends, family, and supporters. Fabio Gurgle gives a show of respect to his opponent. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Next, Kevin Rozier will take on Ryushi Yanagisawa, and Yanagisawa is my choice to win this fight. I was correct. He defeats Kevin Rozier with a rear naked choke in the 3 minutes 12 seconds of the third round. It was a decent fight. Oof. That's not good. Uh, Ryushi Yanagisawa thanks his supporters and all of his fans. He celebrates his XFC debut victory and says that he's already looking forward to his next fight. That's good. That's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, next, George Weingroff will take on Jupe Van De Ven. I think Weingroff will win this. I was correct. He defeats uh, George Weingroff defeats Jupe Van De Ven by a rear naked choke in two minutes fifty nine seconds of the third round. The fight was rated as good. It's good. George Weingroff thanks his sponsors and all of his fans, celebrating his XFC debut victory and says that he's already looking forward to the next fight. Heck yeah. Uh, my nose itches. Uh, next up, Seize Bzems will take on Andre van de van den Ottenlar. I think Bzems wins this. I was correct. He defeats Seize Bzems, defeats Andre van de van, van de Ottenlar by knockout and four Minutes 11 seconds in the second round. It was a good fight. Ooh, I'm excited for the main event. He's, hey, he's going to retire. He says he's got his ass kicked one too many times, and he's done. Seize Bazim's name checks all of his sponsors and thanks all of the fans who turned out to support him. He says that he's very happy to have won his XFC debut, and that he is very happy to be here. That's good. Next up, the co-main event, we have... The most, the world's most dangerous man, Ken Shanmark, versus the king of the streets, Marco Ruiz. Okay, I'm going to go on a limb here. I'm going to say Marco Ruiz wins this fight. I know I'm, I'm twisting twisting some nipples here, but I, I think I got this. And I was correct. The king of the streets, Marco Ruiz, defeats the world's most dangerous man, Ken Shanmark. Oh, it was stopped. TKO, it was a cut. They stopped it over a cut in a minute 59 in the sixth round. Oh, God, it was an average fight, too. Marco Ruth thanks his sponsors and all of his fans. He says he has a lot of respect for Ken Shamrock and praises his toughness. Oh, he was stopped by it for a cut. Are you serious? Next up, XFC3, the main event. Oh, man. Hicks and Gracie versus El Guapo, Boss Rutan. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, man. I'm going to say Boss Rutan wins this. Then again, ooh, this is a close fight. Oof, oof, oof. Hicks and Gracie wins. He defeats El Guapo Boss Rutan by rear naked choke in 3 minutes 24 seconds of the 4th round. The fight was great. Whew. Hicks and Gracie name checks, name, gives a name check to everyone at Lion's Den and all of his various sponsors and all of his friends, family, and supporters. The XFC openweight title strapped around his waist. Hicks and Gracie celebrates having retained the title. Whew. Huh. Critical rating 76. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. It's it's good. So it's sixty percent or over. Commercial rating. Oh, fuh, fuh, fuh. oh, thirty six. It was thirty six. So mid level regional. Is that good? I don't know. It's close. We point three percent increase. Mm, I don't know. Was that good? I don't know. Uh, okay, we'll give them their awards. Yes, give the awards. Oof, we made a gain of three thousand dollars, three thousand two hundred nineteen dollars. That's an increase. That's good, better than bad. Whew, that's good. That's good. Hopefully, Hickson signs with us, resigns with us. If not, we might have to do another tournament for XFC six or something. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I don't. Clearly. Anyway, sorry, I was saying. Gracie fires back at Fuki. Ugh, man, that's... 
Oh, man, like, oof. You ain't got no idea. Okay, oh, can we add fights? Can we add fights? Yes, we can. Uh, Kusiyanagi and Gibson is going to be added to the show. There you go. Oh, yeah, Xavier and Edish. Of course, I think, uh, El Eldo Diaz, Xavier is going to win this fight, obviously. Let's do this. Boom. Add that to the fight there. Add show. Um, XFC5. Uh, so since it was April, let's do September. There we go. North Carolina. Da -da 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 -da. Save. XFC5. Boom, boom, boom. Manabu Yamada and Robert Lucarelli is going to be added to the fight. Uh, Hanma and Jenkins. Wallet Ishmael is once again left out. I'm sorry, but that's how it works. Any new fighters? Oh, she's a woman, and, like, I wish there were more women ref women fighters back in the day, because I'd love to do a women's open weight division, but there's not, and so I'm just going to leave her as is. That would be nice. Masahiro Oishi. Negotiate, make offer, bang, bang, wama, wama, bing, bang. Steve Jinnum. There we go, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Low level regional. Uh. So we're at 50. Oh, wait. I, never mind. So we're at 15.3%. Mid level regional. Uh, it was when we hit 100% or something like that. Oof. 8,000. That's. Ugh, I don't like that. Anyway. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. God. I'm just. I'm terrified that we're going to lose this game because I'm not good at games. But anyway, guys, this is the Catech One saying, peace.